In this interesting episode, we are talking about the three interesting things. Number one, the calls for stress bar, short bucks that will be fired at cattle chips are intensifying. Number two, Gawadidi Mohango and Manta this war is getting more funny and more serious than we, uh, we thought. Number three, uh, Itumel and Kuna turns down a boxing match, a celebrity boxing match. I don't know, maybe he was to fight with Casper uh, Vest after Casper Vest was defeated by NAC Music. I just don't know, but all I know is that he has turned down the offer to, to have him on the ring in the celebrity boxing match. So I'm going to tell you or I'm going to give you more about that. So if you are interested, then please do stick around. And to those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, guys, it is free of charge. So let's jump back into the video. We we'll start with um, the interesting things ne, that happened at Orlando Parrot. Now, most of you, people have been wondering, have been wondering why is Orlando Parrot... Um, uh, uh, why is Kamadena Mohango not playing and all the stuff and people have been asking questions because they think that it all has to do with um, it all has to do with the fight between between um, the fight between Manda Nirazi and Kamadena Mohango now the a lot of parrot media department they have uh, the following things to say concerning that and they are saying no 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 guys it, it can't be associated with that and we cannot um, we cannot say basically it is because of that, but take a look, take a take a look, take a look at this. Ne? Uh, okay, they've got this to say. One fundamental decision is that the coaches work with the players, and that the coach's decision is final, and we must respect that. That is Mbele. He was talking to the Sunday World. If you remember, if you remember, Kabatena Mahango was not regular before the Afcon. Coach Mandanegazi explained and addressed the the issue, but the media were too quick to to crucify and criticize him before they could um, interpret that which was which was said. The media did not interpret what Mandanegazi said. They just went on for the headlines and the former the former Platinum Stars chief executive officer was explaining he was um, he was explaining that the other three three PSL players who played in the Afcon were not regular at the at their clubs and that is maybe maybe the competition in the PSL teams is higher than the competition in some uh, teams at Afco, uh, Afcon uh, there is no uh, administration issue with the player it is just the technical staff and coaches matter and question of player having to fight for his position just like other players in the team if we tell the coach to play a certain player, then we will be accused of interfering in the coach's decision. That is what Mbele at Orlando Parrot has got to say. Now, let's jump into uh, number two. Uh, we'll come back to the issue of Orlando Parrot and Kawatena Mohango, which has been uh, dragging for a, for a while now. So I think personally, this issue should have been uh, sorted at this time. It should have been done away with at this time. So it's just one of those cases where one of those issues where you just don't want to uh you don't want to get involved with you understand what i'm saying nevertheless uh, we jump into a dumelen kun a dumelen kun guys it has uh, the second item has kept at a stone for us about Edimelen Kone turning down a boxing match Edimelen Kone was thrown into the picture after the defeat uh, or to Casper Vesta and a lot of people are saying no now we need Edimelen Kone maybe versus Casper Vesta but Edimelen Kone says mm -mm, no no I'm a soccer player I'm a soccer player I'm not <laughs> I'm not a boxer so I'm not gonna play into that but I'm just wondering them. How, 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 you know, thinking about it, and the boxing match, I'm just wondering how, how what, what will that fight be? You know what I'm saying? The Dumelan Kuna versus Kespanyo Vesta. You know, have you ever wondered about that? <laughs> Maybe it's my imagination. Yeah. I just think about it and I'm like, hmm, that would have been interesting. And the people that even thought about it, yeah, they were that creative. <laughs> but nevertheless, guys, we jump into the third story in this episode. In, our, in this episode, we are talking about um, the calls for straight boxer to be to be fired because they are intensifying. Now, uh, the South African dot com have gathered a lot of a um, lot of people commenting about the issue uh, people have went to the point of saying now now that they are going back to the stadium which is which by the way it's I've done a video about it about it in the previously where I said that uh, if I was kind of chief management at this moment I would have 
fire sweat by side because you don't want to see Kaza Chiefs uh, fans banning the stadium because they, they do not want sweat Baxter at all cost. So as a South African.com then um, did the honorable thing, they've got some facts around that and they came up with this thing to say a lot of people according to their survey are against Stuart Baxter coaching Kaza Chiefs moving forward and if push comes to fans will do something about it and they will make it a point that Kaza Chiefs uh, management they, they they must fire Stuart Baxter so you just wonder what that be because if Kaza Chiefs fans decide to do what they do the best man you don't want to see it in the field man you don't want to see it in the field because wow it's gonna get messy in the field but nevertheless you and i you know we've seen it in the past we've seen where college fans you know, bends down the stadium we've seen pastures fans um the most horrible scene that i've ever remember that came vividly in my mind it was the case where Kaza Chiefs went on to lose I think it was in Devon where, where where coach coach uh former co former Kaza Chiefs coach Steve Compella was to be fired fans the behavior of fans I think yes it was in Devon oh a lot of uh, security I think maybe what was it did that security die but the, the, the scenes there were very horrible now Having said that, for me, I think it, something could be done to, prov to, to prevent such a situation. You do not want to see Kazuchi's fans acting or doing that. And it would be a shame for a team, for a team like Kazuchi's because when that, uh, that thing happens, so the, the videos like this and the um, articles that were released prior to this thing, they will be, they will be brought into the argument during the court session to say, you Kazuchi's, you knew about this, but you just ignore all of those things, you know what I'm saying? Therefore, we charge you a lot of money. And remember, Kazuchis are it is a team that has got a lot of um, cases. Right now, the PSL is fighting against Kazuchis, and they still have a one-year suspension from FIFA. So they do not really want to get in trouble with FIFA or all the all the football bodies in here, they don't want to get involved look in, in trouble with because it's gonna it's gonna cost them a lot. You know what I'm saying? You are fighting this, you are fighting that, you are fighting that. And right now, if 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 Amazon, if I look, remember I did a video about Amazon. Amazon says they've got an evidence that Kaza Chiefs uh, breached the law by c consulting or talking to uh, talking to September September in December time prior to the January transfer window open. So. That alone, it's still a case that Amazon can decide to take it to FIFA. On the other hand, the Kaza Chiefs won their case against the PSL there, and the PSL took that case to, that court, that case to Johannesburg High Court. It's still under review. And now, while we're still while we're still contemplating about that, now the PSL came again now to say, yeah, they 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 they, they, they now charge Kaza Chiefs for building two and properly registered. Uh, players, so there's another case apart from the case that Kaza Chiefs has with PSL. So that's why that I'm saying in the look if you if you're looking at all the things that I've just brought before you, a team like Kaza Chiefs do not really want to be in, in, in look do not want to be in trouble with the law concerning the foot, football football governing laws man, because they they fighting a lot and the, if that happen is going to stretch Kaza Chiefs, you understand? Because now they will have to go and defend themselves in FIFA, having to defend themselves in the Johannesburg High Court against the PSL, and then come back and defend yourself, look, having to defend yourself against the PSL, against the two players that you filled, which were n not properly registered, and then there will be a case of, of fans fighting in the stadium, having to having maybe destroyed the stadium because they are voicing out the fact that they do not want Stuart Baxter in the start in the, as a Kaiser Chiefs co head coach. All of that can be pre prevented by just Kaza Chips firing Stuart Baxter because wow, it's gonna get messy. Nevertheless, um, Itumelen Kone, guys, what's your take? Uh, we've got Itumelen Kone on the other hand saying, I I turned down the boxing match, guys. Me, now I wanted that boxing match. <laughs> Me, I just wanted that boxing match. And yeah, <laughs> Itumelen Kone versus Kaswanyo versus. I don't know. I mean, Itumelen Kone has got a lot of followers, and a lot of, a lot of people in this country, so Kaza Chips supporters and non Kaza Chips supporters. They love it, Kuna. So now, on the other hand, Kepan Yovesta has got a lot of following. So what's your take, guys, about that, Danan? About that, guys? And then you jump into the issue of Kabatina Mohango and Orlando Parrot. Um, you know, it's so sad that we get to hear that 
there was a fight. Um, there was a, a disagreement between uh, Mandangigazi and 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 and, and Mohango. So one will then it is easier for people to conclude that yes, he's not being filled because of the difference between the coach and the player. But one interesting thing that maybe I think we have to ask is that what caused that? Is it just because of their personal problems or it is all football related? Maybe Kabatina Mahango was misbehaving and maybe um, the coach tried to rebuke him. He retaliated in a bad manner and then it sparked into a fight. We just, we haven't been uh, informed as to how, how or what caused this disagreement between Manta Nigas and uh, Kabatina Mahango. But if it is football related, I think me, I understand look if there were to be a fight between um Manda Nigazi and Kabatino Mahango on the basis of Kabatino Mahango's behavior, I think I will understand the coach because Kabatino Mahango guys is misbehaving. He is following the steps of uh, OJ Mabizela, Chabupule, Junior Kanye, you name the list. He's misbehaving, he's a bad boy, and that's that's all I can say. So even when he's right, it's difficult to see that in this case he was right because you are always found on the wrong side of the law to get the point but nevertheless because i speak to educated people with educated opinion i know you guys are gonna educate me and tell me what was the beginning of this fight between kabatina mohango and uh and and, and the madame Nilazi. do you want to see bitumil and kuna versus kispan Vesta in the celebrity boxing match or what's the take us about the the intensifying uh, strategy to remove Stuart baxter from Kaza chiefs until next time guys let's Talk in the comment section below.